In this screencast, we demonstrate the semantic search facilities of Qwist and compare them with keyword-based search. So let's start with a keyword-based search and assume we are looking for genes, which contain specific terms, namely bone and morphogenetic in their names. And let's see what Qwist is finding. And as we see, Qwist finds 100 results. The first are indeed relevant. But for example, already in the second page of search results, if we look, let's say, at the search result number 11, we see this is indeed a gene, as we see here, and it contains the term bone in one of its synonyms, but we do not find the search term morphogenetic. Now let's switch on the semantic search. And typing in exactly the same search terms. But now let's disambiguate the search term gene. Let's say we are indeed referring to the type gene. And again, type in bone and morphogenetic as keywords. And now we find only eight results. The gene type as such, and seven genes. And even the last result is relevant, indeed all of them are relevant. So for example, if we look at the details of this result, we see this is a gene and it contains the terms bone and morphogenetic in its name. We can Cubist let us show why this gene is found with a graph. So here we see why we have found this gene because BMP7 is of concept or type gene. It contains in one of its attributes the term bone and it contains in some other, in this case indeed the same attribute, the term morphogenetic. So let's try this semantic search with a different search query. Let's assume we are looking for all textual annotations, sometimes called essays as well, where some gene is detected strongly. So let's type in strong and again let's disambiguate this. So let's really refer to the strength strong. And let's see what Qubis is finding. So we find the types, textual annotations and the type strong of course. And now we find a whole list of essays or textual annotations. And to make sure or to demonstrate that all of these textual annotations are indeed relevant for a query, let's go to the last page. Let's look at the very last found result. And as we see, this is a textual annotation and some gene is involved which has the strength strong. So even the last result here is relevant to our search query. And again, let us have a look at the corresponding graph, which explains why this result is found. This essay is found because it is of concept or type text annotation and it has strength strong. So the semantic search indeed uses the different facts in our um, ontology and utilizes the different relationships or properties between those facts.